Welcome back to my channel. I'm Venus and this is Heart's Desire by Venus. And today I'm going to show you a little bit of an add-on that you can put into your journals. Um, you can put it into pockets, put it on the pages, whichever you choose. I like to have a few of these around to just insert. Um, I usually make them pretty plain, but these ones are fancy here. So I'm just going to show you. It's basically, it's uh, five by nine. And I've got two different colored papers here in the top pocket. I have a master board tag here, which I'll go over later. And in the bottom pocket here, I have a little flip out with a pocket to just put some ephemera. I like to have a few of these on hand. I leave them pretty plain normally. And then you can just decorate them for each project. This would be like my normal plain one. I leave it pretty pretty empty and you can see you can put assortment of anything's in there and then you can write on the back journal on the back which whatever you want so i'm going to show you how to make these today um if you've got papers on your desk these are really good these are also good for using up some of your um scrapbook pads that you've got that you just aren't that fond of because you can stencil over these color over these however you want um so basically what i do is, is I cut two pieces of paper, of scrapbook paper. You could do book pages, coffee dyed paper, whatever. But I like two, one for the front, one for the back, but they kind of coordinate. And I cut them down to five by nine. And I'm going to pick this one to be my front, and it will probably go that way. And what I do is I kind of decide where I want, uh, how deep I want my pockets. I usually like the top one to be pretty deep here so that you can get like a full size uh, tag in there and basically I just line it up on my little mat here so I can make sure I'm in oops in the same locations on either side and I just make a dot about a half inch in from where I want the pocket to go so I'm going to have the pocket go here and then on the bottom one I'm going to do out here and you could you could put three pockets in this if you were to so choose to um, but I'm only doing two so once you've got your dot positioned to where you kind of want it I punch the hole out with a pretty small hole punch I think this is like a I don't know a one eighth I want to say you don't need a very big hole but punch those four dots out with your hole punch just like so you can kind of see them and then what I do is I take my ruler and my craft knife and I'm just gonna line up the top of the hole and the top of the hole on either side and cut a slit from hole to hole and then I do it to the bottom part of the hole line it up hole to hole so then you can see you're just cutting that little slit paper out and the holes are just kind of a starter. Oop, I can't get that out. And then you're going to do the same thing for your bottom here. Right along there. that up there you go so now you've got the base of your pocket so then what I do is I put these back to back now you can um, if you want to distress them um, you can distress them now but I'm not going to worry about it for this particular one so I put them back to back and then what I'm going to do you could either glue this but I'm going to just go and stitch all the way around on this. So, and I'll be right back. Okay. So I went and I stitched all the way around. Again, you can glue if you want. But now I have got my two pockets. Now this pocket I know extends down all the way through. And there's a reason. Because I like to put um, some very large tags in these. Or journaling spots. Um, so I'll take one of these out. And I like to have the space on here. 
Anyways, I like to keep my pocket here very, very big so that I can put these big tags in. And I find if you close it off, then it's just a little pocket and everything doesn't fit in there as well. So now you've got your base here and you can see it's all nice on the back and that you can distress it how you want. Now, what I'd like to do for these, this is also using up some of my scraps is for sure. Um, I use my master boards. Now, I don't make master boards as decorative as a lot of people do um, that I see on the internet. Um, basically, what I do is I take an old piece of paper that I don't care about and I take all my strips after my project and they're all in straight lines you can see well sometimes they'll be torn but mostly they're in the straight lines because they're the off cuts and I glue them willy-nilly onto my chipboard and then I will use them as a base to make my tag so here's my tag and what I did as you can see it's one of those I basically cut it out to the tag shape then I randomly stitch pieces that I've in here and then I'll just put on a little bit of trim and a little thing. It's simple. The back of it looks cute with all the extra stitching. Um, but that, that's how I like to do mine. So I'm going to take one of these master boards. Uh, that kind of match it with that. I'll do this, this neutral one here. And I'm just going to draw out. my tag this is the tag shape i like the best for this because it's nice and big um, but i mean you could put any kind you want in there so i'm just going to cut this out and i think i'm going to use my cutter so that it stays nice and move that out of the way cut along here And then I still have a few extra pieces for whatever else I want to do. Little mini tags or something like that. I'm just going to cut off my bit here. So now I'm just going to take this over to my sewing machine. And like I said, I'm just going to stitch a few random spots there to add some interest and in, on that. And then I'll be back. Okay, so... You I of see it here in the light, but I stitched all the way around. I did a little couple of random zigzags in there. And now I'm just going to punch a hole in the top. My... There, punch a hole. I'm going to put a couple of colored reinforcements that I've got on tag. And I've got, got some fabric here that I'm just going to rip open and just to create a simple simple top for my tag. And you can see you could put journaling cards on this. You could uh embellish it more. I just like to leave them pretty plain on the set till I decide where I'm putting them because then I'm going to, obviously you're going to create uh, the image you want to go with whatever journal or that these are going in. But I do just like to have a few of these sitting around so that uh, it's a little bit of a no brainer. Okay. So there is that, which where'd I put it right here? So that'll be in the top of this. And now we are going to make the simple little book, the little flip out for the bottom part. And this is again where your scrap paper comes in. Because basically I take a piece that I've got kicking around. Just put that on there. And this particular one is, let's see, what size is this one? four and a quarter and it's a 12 inch high piece four and a quarter by 12 inch high so I have the off cuts 
that I used to make that. And again, I'm going to cut two pieces on here that are four and a quarter. I'm just going to stack them up and do them at the same time just to save time. Four and a quarter by 12. And I'm going to do them back to back again, like I did the first one. So you can see out of a 12 by two 12 by 12 sheets, you'll get enough to do this whole setup. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to figure out how far I want this to be the inside this time because my pocket that it's going into is the other way. And basically, I just decide how big I want the pocket on the bottom part. And I want it to about there. So I'm going to fold that. And then that way, when it comes down, it comes down midway there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and I'm going to stitch, leaving this part folded, but I'm going to stitch all the way around here to create my pocket. Okay. And I will be right back. Okay, so I stitched all the way around. I'm just going to trim the corner off here. You could leave it square if you want, but I'm actually just going to trim it off a little bit there. And I think I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom here. Perfect. So now when you fold it over, you've got your pocket. Now you can see my pages don't line up necessarily, and I'm not going to worry about that because I'm kind of going for that shabby distressed look so i'm not too worried but i am going to just drop a bit of ink on here on both sides and i'll make sure i get to that top crease there so you can see you could definitely use up your bits for this project it's not too much Okay, and so then, you know, you can fancy this up however you want. On this case, I'm just going to take a few pieces I've got of ephemera and put them in the pocket that I've got lying around here. And I've got a couple of torn up pieces here from a project I'm currently working on. Oh, I like this one better. So I'm just going to distress those stick them in there I'm going to use a little bit of two-sided tape and if I can find the end you could glue this if you wanted to but I'm just got some tape here and I'm going to round the corner before I put it on though Some kind of mimics and I'm just going to tear stick it on the base I'm just going to take a piece of lace that I've got here and I've got a piece of dyed cheesecloth which I'll just stretch out And I'm going to put that right up on the top here. Where's my glue? Glue. Can't find my paper clip, so I'm just going to use this clip to keep it down while I'm doing this. And I'm just going to put a little bit of my glue in the corner here my cheesecloth on and glue my lace down. I'll use my clip here to just keep it closed and secure. So you can see, it doesn't take much. And you could put journaling cards on the top or fussy cuts or whatever you want. Um, that would be all right. 
And then I just put little bits of ephemera from the project I'm working on in here. You can see, you just slide it down. And I usually, because I embellish the outside part, I usually keep it, the flap on the outside, which is nice because it's coordinating. And uh, then you can put something down here if you want. But this is the basis. And I, like I said, I usually have a pile of these for every project. And I just kind of toss them in whenever uh, I need a little extra. You could glue this totally onto a page, but I usually like to put it in the insert or I'll paper clip it to a page so that it's a freestanding item. Um, it's a short video today, I know, um, but I just thought it'd be helpful for you guys while I'm making some to show you how I use up some of my bits as well. Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, please don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will find out whenever I do new videos. I do try and do one a week. So, you know, come on out and uh, join me and uh, hopefully I will see you again. Have a great day.